Hi, I've recently seen a video of I in Codes where he tests an API endpoint with Fast API. First of all, I want to say that he's a great guy and knows a lot, and he's one of the very few YouTubers who discusses advanced topics in Python. So this video is not meant to be an attack, but rather a discussion on what you actually want to test with a unit test. So first, what is the setup? We want to test an API endpoint that interacts with a database. You don't just want to write records into your production database. So Ian created a local in-memory SQLite database and writes and reads records from the database. So the test itself works, but in my opinion, it does not do what you actually want to achieve. So maybe let's first start with the definition of a unit test. With a unit test, you test the smallest part of an application, like a function, or in this case, an API endpoint. Unit tests should run independently from each other. So what's the issue with this setup? Do you want to test whether the records in a database are correct, or do you want to test the logic of the endpoint? probably the latter. The SQL Alchemy code is already tested. You only want to test code which you wrote yourself. A second issue is that the tests do not run independently from each other. If you write into the database in one test and delete a record in another test, the order of execution matters since you cannot delete a record which was not created before. So here's my approach how I would do it. So this is the API itself. As you can see, we create a local SQLite database, which is the so-called production database. We got a single table, which is called product, that got an ID, a name, and a description. We also create a model with pedantic for this, with name and description as attributes. And then we also create a function, which creates a local session object, and we can always yield a new session from that function. We use that function in combination with the dependency injection mechanism provided by FastAPI. So we always get a new session when we make an API call and create a new product in our database. So now let's have a look at the test setup. So instead of creating a real database, also called test database, which actually creates a file on our file system, I just mock the complete database. So I use magic mock to create a mock session. And here the function override getDB has got the same logic here like this, but instead of creating a real session, we just yield that mock session. For our test, we want to override the dependency, which is getDB. So this is the function we use in our real application. So we want to override this with our mock setup. So we set this getDB dependency to this override getDB. We can also create a PyTest fixture with that object so we can use it in our code easily. So now let's have a look at our actual unit test. This is in the test underscore app.py. And first we create a test client and pass the app which we import from our main. So we import this app object there. And now we've got a test client where we can run methods on. So we can use the post method because this is a post endpoint and we send the product to this endpoint. So this is the JSON representation of our product and we pass it to this product endpoint. So now we make that request and receive a response back from our API. We then check if the status code of the response is 200, which is the default for a successful response. So we know that our API works and did not produce an error. We also assert whether the data of our response is the expected data. And now the most important part of this video. So instead of checking whether the data in our database is correct, we just want to check whether the add method and the commit method of our mock object was called or not. So we do this with the assert called method. So we can now make sure that this, this is the add method of our database and this is the commit method. So we can check whether these two were called on our mock object. And so we know that our API endpoint works as expected. So we know the correct status code of the response. And we also know that these methods were actually called. But what I don't want to test is whether there is a record in our database or not. This was already tested by the developers of SQL Alchemy, so I don't want to do that. So now let's actually run the test. I use poetry to do this, so I use poetry run pytest, and then we can see whether our test works or works not. And as we can see, our test passes, so the implementation of our test case works. So you are now probably thinking to yourself, but I want to know if everything is okay in the database or not. And I totally agree, but you want to do that in a later stage and run a so-called integration test on an environment which is actually close to the production environment. 
A unit test serves a different purpose. So that's my two cents on unit testing an API with a database. Please let me know in the comments whether you think my approach is correct or Ian's approach is. Thank you very much. Bye bye.